In December of 2022, I made over $80,000 in profit flipping name brand products on Amazon, bought from big retail websites like Kohl's, Walmart, and Target. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same thing and make money with Amazon Online Arbitrage where we buy products from big retail websites and flip them on Amazon's platform. Let's get right into it. We're here inside my screen and I want to start out showing you guys a breakdown of a profitable flip. So we can see looking at these Adidas flip flops on Amazon, just looking at them, they're super common color, super common size right here, size five for women's right there. It makes sense that this would do well, right? And then we can see, looking at the price on Amazon, it's $39. We have to think to ourselves when we see that, could we see this selling for $20 or less on somewhere on the internet, right? Because the way the fees break down on Amazon, fees, shipping, product costs, etc., for something to be profitable to hit a 30% plus ROI, you need to buy it for 50% or less of the sale price, typically right in that range, basically. So we can see there's a 35 right here. And then we can go ahead and take a look over on this website and see they're actually selling for forty-eight uh, for $14.98 right here. Shipping's free on this website, as we can see up here. So what we can do is come over here on Amazon, we can see that demolishes the one to two rule that I just mentioned in terms of the breakdown of fees, product costs, et cetera. Right, and then what we can do is go over here on SellerAmp and actually take a look at the exact net profit breakdown on this product so we can see at a $39 sale price and a $15 buy cost right here after product cost, sales tax, shipping, everything like that, we're gonna make about $11 in profit and a 72% ROI right here. And we can see that this product sells consistently because it has a 50,000 rank and over 300 sales per month in terms of the entire listing right here. So we know that this product actually does sell. Right, and then we can go ahead here and scroll down to the Kiva chart and make sure that this product has sold over time. Which, looking at the three month chart on Kiva right here, we can see it's historically in like the 34 range, but especially over the past two weeks, it's been 39 plus. Right, it's been right on that uh, 39 range, and we can see that the competition has gone down, so we know that this does sell, and that a further way to validate the demand is actually looking at the uh, history of the sellers. On listing, so we can see on June 16th, there were 13 sellers, and then on June 17th, there were only seven, right? So that has to be selling for that to be the case, and the price went up right here. So in terms of actually going ahead and using this as a launch point or using any of the winning products you guys see me find in other videos on my channel as a launch point, what you want to do now is actually use the reverse sourcing method. So the reverse sourcing method and aka storefront stalking is where we go ahead and take a look at what other Amazon sellers are selling and then go out and look for those items at profitable prices, right? So what we want to do is over here on SellerAmp, scroll down, down to the offers right here so we can see the competition and then we want to pull up the storefronts of other sellers that we're, we know are making a bunch of money. Now, how do we know they're making a bunch of money? By looking at their review count on their store. Now, re reviews don't really matter for making sales that much, so don't worry about that if you're a beginner, but for this method, it's nice that we can go ahead and see some of these sellers have, yeah, 68 reviews. That's a pretty good amount. Any, anything over 50 is a pretty good amount. So we can open up you know, these sellers that we know are making a bunch of money right here, right, and take a look at, okay, what are they selling, right, within SellerAmp, we can see, um, all the different uh, pr brands they carry, categories they carry, and their total ASIN count right here. So we can see everything that these sellers actually have in their storefront right here. And then what we can do is dial in in terms of taking a look at our favorite types of product, which if you're new, obviously you don't have yet, you're gonna get that over time, right? So personally, I can see that these sellers really like doing uh, clothing, shoes, jewelry. I like selling that stuff as well. If you're worried about ungating these big brands and categories, it's really, really easy these days, even if you're a beginner, I'd encourage you to take a look down in the description at my ungating tutorial, as well as if you want a full breakdown of Keepo or SellerAmp, you can do that too. But for this example, we'll keep going with, the Adidas, with uh, Adidas products. We can go ahead within SellerAmp and filter into Adidas products right here. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the fastest selling products, which is what's gonna show up first here within Selling. So we can see a 2K rank right here, a 1K rank right here, 12K rank, 92K rank. So we can see there's significant demand for these products, right? So if there's a bunch of demand, there's probably people making money on them, right? And I can see that Amazon is selling some of these themselves. Not personally a fan of competing with Amazon, but what we are gonna do is take a look at 
the variations, so the different colors or sizes of these products that Amazon isn't on if any of those do exist, right? So I'm not gonna look at some of these higher ranked ones, but 84K rank looks good right there. And then what's nice is that there's legitimately infinite quick selling products right here. So we can see there's a bunch of Puma stuff, 20K rank, 29K rank, 45K rank, 2K rank, right? And all of these are validated as reseller friendly looking at that we got here from looking at other reseller storefronts, right? So now what we can do is go here, we can see $37 sale price, 2K rank, fantastic item. However, Amazon's selling these themselves. Personally, not a fan of competing with Amazon. But what we can do is go down here and hit variations, right? And then what we wanna do is, um, you can make your columns match mine, you might have to move them around a little bit. Right there, we can go here, Amazon Current, which you might have to select right there if it's not there for you, and go here, boom, equals, no price, and then that actually takes out Amazon as an option right here. And now we can see there's this one that's 50 bucks that's selling significantly more expensive than the others, right, and Amazon's not on it right here. So what we have to do in this case is now we can see that Amazon's been out of stock for over a month or about a month and a half, and we can see that back to school season's coming up because we're getting into July and August right here. And the demand went from a 55 sales rank, 55,000 sales rank, which is pretty good, it's fine, right? Down to a 1,000 sales rank, which is fantastic right here. So now we can go ahead and Google that and uh, see if we can um, find this guy anywhere. Interesting. So it looks like there's a famous footwear selling backpacks right now. Um, the pro Oh, 30, light gray stone, 27 right here, Excel. Okay, let's see, Stratton 2 Backpack Blue, okay. Is that the Foundation 6? Okay, so that's different um, right there, although it's definitely close to being the same thing. I like the look of this though on sale right here. Um, let's see, Adidas Excel 6, okay, that's different as well. But this guy is nicely on sale, so let's take a look. And this is uh, 28 bucks right here. Adidas Excel 6 Backpack, okay. Okay, what we can also do is actually go here Boom, hit this, and then hit SAS Smart Search um, within SellerAmp. Or uh, further, what we can do is actually, um, yeah, to find the exact one, we can go ahead here and Google Image Search this and see if it pulls up a corresponding Amazon list. So you gotta get creative sometimes in terms of locating the uh, Amazon listing right here. Okay, I don't see those, but let's see. That almost blue. All right, we can see, <laughs> damn, look at the rank on this, it's crazy, 900 uh, sales rank right there. So right here, we want to take Amazon out right there. Here, and then we can see almost blue Onyx Green, okay. Um, we'd have to make sure this matches, which I believe it does right there. It's got the uh, blue accents right there. Cool, so 28 bucks right here, right? So we plug in 28 right there. We can see $64 sale price right here. Um, that's going to leave us $13 profit and a 47% ROI after shipping cost, fees, uh, Amazon product cost, everything like that basically. And now we'd see we're nice and profitable in this. All we have to do from here is validate that this is consistently sold in that range, which a little bit risky right here. We can see Amazon was in stock on this for about a month right there at 48. So at a 48 sale price, we're just about break even. On that, however, this is um, back to school time. Backpacks are really hot. We can see demand is shooting up. Um, on this, I am confident in I'm like this that this will perform well. Obviously, you're not gonna go ahead and buy this. This is purely for example purposes only, but this would be the kind of product I would be comfortable buying because we can see that there's, um, like we've been profitable in this for a while. Amazon was on it um, for about a month, but the other times um, throughout the past 90 days, we've been nice and profitable right there. Um, so that is the first winner of the day right here. Are we missing anything? Let's see, two-tone. Take a look at this color as well, because if we can pay 30 for this, right, we're gonna be nice and profitable. And this is a really, really good, J damn, okay, I was gonna say that would have been good. Right there, okay. That was 30, right, because if we plug in 30 right there, it'd be nice and nice and profitable. We can also try Google Image Search in this and see what comes up right here. List you buy, okay, yeah. All right, no problem. So uh, we got one winner right there um, off of Hibbit. Let's take a look at this right here as well, too. Stratton 2 backpack, okay. Is this on Amazon? Uh, might not be. That, what's cool though is that we can see there's a ton of other um, actually quick selling backpacks that have a bunch of these you guys can go look at uh, on your own as well. I think that makes a ton of sense too. But um, for we're gonna keep it rolling in terms of taking a look at these uh, 
other stuff. So first things first, we needed to validate the demand for a listing, which luckily we're storefront stock, so we're only opening already validated products, right? And then what we need to do is hop down here to the variations and figure out which variations are selling for the most expensive and selling the quickest, which comes from looking at the price action in the buy box, as well as the review action right here. So we can see 24 bucks right here. We wanna pay like 10 for that, um, for that to be profitable. Let's see, because if we can pay 10 bucks for these, we're gonna make a nice $4 profit and a 5% ROI right here. Let's see. Okay, so we can pay uh, 15 for that, or interesting, Dick's Sporting Goods right here. So $9.99 and a black, uh, black small right here. Yeah, 12 bucks, okay, so that definitely doesn't work. Right there, nine nine nine, and like that's the thing is most stuff isn't gonna be good, but over time you guys are gonna get really good at navigating around the stuff fast, and you'll be able to consistently find stuff. It's just gonna take time to get pretty good, right? As it should, you know, be the case right there. Let's see. So this is like fifty five. Let's see if we can pay like twenty five for this guy. Mm, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, super low competition history, right here. Signal pink. Yeah. Damn. There's a lot of backpacks for sale on uh, on famous footwear or on sale on uh, Famous Four, you guys should look into that on uh, after watching this video right here. Let's see, 38, 44 right here, so we wanna pay like 20 for this one. Let's see if that's, uh, if that's possible, I doubt it is, but we will uh, we will find out right here. Nope, all right, no problem. Problem, let's see, these uh, Adidas shorts, check the variations right here. It's like 22, oh, 30 right here in gray, okay. Let's see, so we wanna pay like 13, 12 to 15. Um, right here, see what uh, see what we got. Okay, 10 bucks right there, air already designed to move shorts. Let's see, those look potentially good right here. Got a bunch of colors too. Damn, nine bucks, oh my gosh. All right, I bet you, I bet you that was profitable right here, this Orbit Green. I, I would be shocked if that, uh, if that wasn't profitable at a certain point. Let's see. And this is something to keep in mind when you're doing product research too. A lot of good stuff you're gonna find is from Googling a different product and just seeing stuff that looks like a deal in the Google Shopping algorithm that shows up basically. Let's see. Yeah, okay, this was totally a deal. Yeah, nine bucks right here. So nine bucks and uh, yeah, 23. So it's like a 25% ROI that's close right here, but I bet you these other sides are gonna be good. Right, yeah, 29, okay, boom, here we go, perfect example, right? Um, so kind of thing that we are nice and profitable at a $9 buy cost on, right? $8 profit, 92% ROI, stable price action right here. Problem is currently out of stock on adidas.com. So this would be the kind of thing you would wanna put in a spreadsheet, um, which you can actually just use the Selleramp Google Sheets integration right here, and we can see that you, I have all these different spreadsheets and all I have to do is one click export this over there so now I can go ahead and check all the leads that I found that are out of stock once a week or a virtual assisting or you know I can share with a friend and uh, be able to take advantage of that when it comes back in stuff because it's not good right now we're not able to grab that right now but it's been very good in the past and there's a good chance that's going to come back in at some point too um, right there so that's really really important to be doing as well and I bet you this uh yeah let's see this other yeah green oxidized probably good too let's see extra large right here yeah, it's boom, that's good too, right? It's just not good currently, but over the long term, we'd be able to take advantage and make money on that, right? Um, so not gonna be the kind of thing we're gonna do now, but uh, definitely the kind of thing I wanna catalog in my seller and Google Sheets so I can take advantage of in the future right here. Okay, Crew Navy, um, Black Double Extra Large, Black uh, XXL, Black Small, Crew Navy. Okay, let's see. Oh, damn, so that Crew Navy's out of stock too, so that would be nice and profitable, but um, let's see, because it's up at 45 right there. So that would be um, 15 buy cost into, um, yeah, so that'd be really, really nice and profitable right there, just currently not in stock. And we can see for like the last month, it's been above 45, right? And we can see that it has sold. It went from four sellers all the way down to one seller um, right there as well. So that'd be $17 profit and a really, really nice product right there however black small and black double uh double xl right here boom all right a couple more winners right here check it out 15 buy cost right um now i don't know if adidas has any further coupons but i know that sometimes they have like an additional 25 percent off right there so it's 15 into 45 right here and we can see we are nice and profitable for a while here right and then we can see that um the the average price here is probably like 38 bucks 
right? So at like a 38th cost, right? We're making $12 profit, 85% ROI after shipping, fees, everything like that basically. So that's a good product. And we had that other size too, that, uh, that black, uh, the, yeah, the black small, black double XL. So both of those are good. So it's a couple more winners um, right there. And you, uh, you love to see it right there. So we'll uh, keep it rolling. That's the beauty of storefront stocking, reverse sourcing, Google one product, end up finding a different one, looks like it might make sense. We end up looking at it further. We find out we can make some good money flipping that on Amazon. Right there, okay, let's see, so these, are, so these don't really have reviews. Um, now they've only been around for like a year, so that, that might be some nuance there, but let's see, Let, let's purely for example purposes, let's take a look at this, right? So this has no reviews, so a lot of people would think that this doesn't sell. However, the best indicator of volume is gonna be the specific keep it chart. And then we can see, yeah, it's only been around for 56 days, of course there's no reviews, right? It doesn't make sense. But we can see that this has sold right here, just a little bit slower of a mover right here, so let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing these guys anywhere that makes sense. No problem right here. Take a look, and what's cool is there's like thousands and thousands of stuff to look through, right? There's a bunch of Nike stuff too, which we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a look at um, as well, and it's just a never ending loop of uh, quick selling products that we just have to get good at locating properly, basically right there, and there's unlimited sellers that got this different stuff, and we can just rock and roll through all of this and open up good listings, locate products profitably, and over time, get better and better at um, being able to do that basically. Right there, so we can open up some more of these, but I would look through all these if I was just doing a sourcing session on my own basically too. Right, okay, let's get Amazon out of here. Right there. Bring, damn, 80 bucks right here, okay. And uh, a couple sizes, so let's see. Yeah, it's 473, so we don't pay like uh, 36 or less right here. Don't know if that's possible, but we'll uh, be able to dial in on this. And another thing that you'll pick up on more and more as you go, basically, is that you're gonna start to get an idea of what the cost should be on different stuff, and that's gonna be hard for you when you're new, but over time, you're gonna build that tolerance, and it's gonna make it so much easier for you to do product research. Um, for example, I don't even see the color we needed, I don't think on here, and nowhere close, profitable, but this looks like a deal. Let's take a look at this, right? It's 75 retail, all the way down at, uh, all the way down at 32 right here. So let's uh, let's see, let's plug this in. Puma Axelion. Okay, I believe that's different. Let's see, ah, NXT running shoes, okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, is that the right thing? I believe it is. Right there, interesting. Let me get this refreshed so we can load up the Keep It chart. Right as well, so we can see uh, only two sellers on this guy. The overall listing is a 40K rank, which is pretty good um, right here. And then we can also see that historically, um, until about June, the price was about 60. Um, but if we look at in the past uh, like month and a half or so, right, past month, it's been above like 100, above 90 right there. So we can see that historically, we know that this product sells by looking at the competition history, right? It has to sell. We can see that it sold at 75 consistently back in February and such, and the price has just been higher as of late, right? And our buy cost is 32 right here. So this is a really, really nice profitable item right there. Um, I'd also look into using a discounted gift card with Nordstrom Rack as well um, right there, but that is absolutely a good product that we can um, take advantage of. And it seems unfortunately that we're late a little bit because there were some really other good ones to, or these other sizes I assume are good too, um, which we can take a look at. Right here, I'm not sure if that's the case, but let's see, yeah. Okay, it's so like that one's like close at 32, depending on your sales tax, right there. Size 13. Yeah, size 13 is totally good, right? 115 lowest, you can pick it up for 32. Right there, so yeah, that's a great example of, uh, it's just so important to understand that a lot of the products you're gonna find, it's gonna be from Googling stuff and then other things popping up in terms of taking a look at the, uh, just the Google shopping results base. And that's why you always gotta be stay curious and uh, eventually start to build a tolerance for what stuff should sell for. Right, let's keep it rolling right here. And if you guys got any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I answer all the comments um, and I just wanna bring as much value as I can to any of you guys. So please, please, please let me know. Right there, okay, this is a 12 wide, 76 bucks right here. Oh, cool, okay. We're gonna be close right here. 32, 12 wide, okay. 
Um, 33 right here. Okay, this is 12 wide. Is that the right thing? I believe it is. Yeah, 33 bucks right here. 33 bucks. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm missing something, which I don't think I am. 33 bucks right here. Uh, men's Viz Runner wide shoes. Men's Viz Runner wide shoes. Yeah, it's 12 wide. Proof's in the pudding right there. We can see that this sells. Looking at the keep a chart. Um, right there, 33 bucks, 76 sale price. Um, absolutely love to see that right there. Um, we can see there's also some other um, wide ones right here, 42, so if these are like 80 plus, um, we'd be good. And then let's see, just Capital One Shop, 13% cash back with Be Frugal is crazy right there too. Let's see, 20 off. I'd be curious if this uh, 20 off code works with uh, Capital One Shopping. So you guys definitely wanna be using Capital One Shopping um, for product research as well. Right there, that's gonna, it's free, and it's gonna tell you different coupon codes for different websites, and it's gonna go along with Rakuten and Be Frugal in terms of helping you guys get extra cash back and get coupons for different products as well. Right here, okay, 76 at 42. So uh, the nice thing is, say this, uh, say this 20% code does work, right? And these are the wide ones, right? Which we can see, oh, these are the not wide ones though, so interesting. However, this does say 12 wide right there, so. Definitely taking that, and the cool thing is you can just go ahead and storefront stock from here. You know what I mean? And find further stuff and uh, everything. But we're on a roll, and I want to keep uh, keep finding examples for you guys right here. So let's see. These are up to like 35, 35, 34, 35. Going to look at the higher review ones because I think there's going to be a higher chance of locating this profitably. However, when you're doing this on your own, look up everything, right? Right here, let's see. 16 bucks, okay, 17 bucks. Right here. We can see that um, that 34 isn't super consistent, um, unfortunately, but especially if this 20% does work right here, and this goes from 17, which is, yeah, it's about a 30% ROI, say that 20 off does work, and that gets us down to 13 cost. I feel a lot more comfortable here because I know that this can go down to 30, right, and still be chilling right there after product costs, sales checks, et cetera. Um, right there, but probably be, gonna be the kind of thing I would avoid, but I'll probably add this uh, on Google Sheets on, uh, on Celeram to like take a look at it in the future and, uh, and such right there and, and see, but we can check out these uh, camo ones as well, right here. Interesting, super save over here too. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, here we go. Let's see, because I got a couple of these. Oh man, they're 14 bucks right here. Got a lot of good deals potentially right here. Let's see, only a few left. 9, 10, 14 right here. Ah, those are different though. Let's see, let's try Cool Cat 2.0 camo right here. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to match the correct listing right there as well. So let's see, yeah, so like this is the right product, um, but the rank is like 900,000, so we're definitely not gonna worry about that. Um, Right there, but let's see, do we have just gray camo right here? Cool, 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 14, right there. Let's see, okay, yeah, don't see, um, unfortunately don't see a match in terms of those, but those look good. And what's cool is that looking at this, we can see that Nordstrom Rack's got some pretty good deals, right? So it might make sense to look further into that and take a look at on Nordstrom Rack, okay, what other stuff do they have that's on sale currently, right? Um, which, let's uh, keep it rolling. Of that, okay, we got some Nike slides right here. Puma stuff was nice, couple winners in the uh, the Puma side of things. Those we already found good. Um, we check out some Adidas slides right here. 306 rank, 37K rank, 6K rank. All this stuff is good, it's just is it the right time for us to locate this properly? Do I know the coupon codes and stuff? And it's really, really important to consider when you guys are doing product research on your own that very, very little is just gonna be profitable at the price that you see when you Google it. Right here, you're gonna need coupon codes. You're gonna need to be finding stuff on sale. And over time, you're gonna get better and better at finding and tracking those opportunities, right? And it's not feasible for that to be the case immediately, right? But over time, you're gonna get pretty good at it. Um, right there, like let's see these women's ones. Let's take a look at those too, right here. Let's see, black, red, these are in stock. That's gonna be very, very good right here. Victory one, victory one. Okay, these just black, red. Yeah, 20 bucks, 8% cash back. We have a seven, eight, nine, and 12 right here. Okay, let's locate these. Seven, 49, okay. Victory one. 
Oh, damn, so this is a brand new listing right here. So check this out. So 36 uh, days this listing's been around, um, right here, so that's uh, pretty interesting. Um, and we can see that, yeah, these other ones are very validated though. These other sizes of that color are very validated. They have a bunch of reviews. So there's no doubt in my mind this size won't perform well. But either way, 7, 8, 36. So 20 buy cost isn't quite good, right? That's about 15% ROI. 7, 8, what other? So yeah, so 7, 8, 9, okay. Buy cost 20, that size 7 is definitely cool. Right there, 37, and then 7, 8, 9, and then we got a 12 as well, right here. 39, yeah, so here we go, right? So we got a, a buy box of uh, $39.80, right? Now it's an FBM buy box too, right? Uh, buy cost of, uh, of 20 bucks, right? And then we can see that's gonna make us about a 26% ROI, however, the buy box is FBM. Right, so we could probably Amazon Prime or FBA this in like the 42 range, which can make us seven dollars profit and about 35% ROI right there with good cash back from Nike.com too. You just have to audit the Kiva chart and see, um, we can see that uh, the lowest prime has been, yeah, 42 in the buy box right there recently. Right, so like 42, right, and we can see if we could just go here, data, and then look at buy box statistics. Right here, we can see the history of the different price action right here as well. So that's cool. Um, are other of these? Okay, cool. So the black and red ones are definitely good right there. We can take a look at these. Uh, these. I'm pretty sure I've used these as an example before, but let's, uh, let's pull this up right here. Victory One Women's Shoes. Okay. Ooh, those look good. Those got a ton of reviews right there. So it's interesting how uh, some of this stuff works on Amazon. There'll be like a ton of listings for different... Uh, different slides, so if we search like Nike, yeah, Victory One, there's like a ton of different listings, right? And you kind of got to do some detective work in terms of identifying the right one, but over time you're going to be able to nicely dial in on that too. Right there, let's see. Okay, let's see, want the black and silver, size 12, 55. Now it's got no reviews, but it's a pretty new listing, right? It's only been around for 31 days. Um, right there. Meanwhile, the size 5, yeah, 45 right there. Size 11 is 40. All right, so we can see they have a size 5. Right. Oh, they don't have a size 5. Just have a size 11. Damn, they don't have a size 11 either. So it's out of stock, but kind of thing I would definitely toss on an out of stock sheet in Celeram because we can see out of 20 cost, if we Amazon or FBA this at like 42, it's pretty similar numbers. Right, so you can see a lot of the stuff makes sense when you're able to navigate around variations quickly. Um, so on and so forth basically. So that's not good currently, um, but definitely gonna be the kind of thing that, you know, we'd probably be able to take advantage of in the future. Um, right here, okay. Let's see, these are in like the 40 range right here. 40, yes, yeah, so let's see, so these are like, yeah, 40 bucks, we wanna 20 bucks for these. Um, if you guys got Nike outlets near you, that's a great place to source product too. People are sleeping on that, being able to take advantage of that stuff locally, be able, being able to have it in hand same day. Right there too, I think a lot of people are uh, a lot of people are sleeping on that. So I know I can 10% um, rack room, but even at 22, it's not quite good. Right there, 22, it's about, yeah, 20% ROI. Not quite good on that. If that was like a $45 sale price, right? Now we'd be making about a 40% ROI. Would make sense, um, but not gonna be the kind of thing I wanna take a look at right now. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's see, Nike Benassi slides right here. Sold some of these in the past. Um, let's see. Black ones, yeah, there's like 43 pinks. <laughs> it's got a thousand reviews, that's amazing. <laughs> right there, all right. Let's see what we can do. So these have a ton of historical demand. Okay, black pink though, let's see, 17, those men's ones right there. All right, um, these are, you know, 30% off right here. Let's take a look at these. And once again, we Googled the women's ones, we end up finding the men's ones right here. Let's uh, take a look and see what the deal is with these guys. So we have a size 10 and a size 13. Yeah, okay, let's see, size 10. 17 cost, game time. Yeah, game time. 17 bucks, right there, 40, right? And then what's also cool is uh, we can see that champs will show if a product is excluded from discount. These aren't excluded from discount. Um, here, so we'd be able to use this coupon code as well, most likely, right there, which gets these another 15% off right there. Beautiful thing. Right, we also have that size 13, which we can take a look at. 
and see now we got no buy box in this currently however the lowest price is 49 right and then we can look at the keepa and see that these clearly do move right here right so um, another winning product right there they're gonna pay like 14 for that yeah it's all the sellers are FBM it's a beautiful thing got black and white ones as well oh the black and white ones are 35 though so that doesn't work right there but once again caught my eye looked pretty discounted right and then we can take a look at it right there um, and, uh, and everything never been able to find these properly it's kind of interesting it's kind of eluded me um, for a while right there let's see let's keep it rolling right here let's see okay just basic like kind of Nike hat right here 22 is our kid size as well yes yeah, so we'd have to pay really really cheap for these I don't think that's gonna be possible um, but we can definitely find out Oh wow, that looks awesome. 14, uh, 375 right here. Um, now I definitely want to verify that this site's legit by um, looking at their reviews on Trustpilot, making sure they're taking PayPal, seeing if they have any of the cash back sites right here. Um, when you find a new site, you want to go through that uh, that test. Definitely just ask people in the community too. Um, has always been something that have worked uh, really well for me. Let's see, Nike Swim Latex Cap, okay. Varsity Red, okay. Um, let's see, does this come up when we Google it? Because this is kind of a weird, yeah, okay, it does. Right there, um, 990, so what's cool is this is uh, this fits perfectly in a small and light right here. So if we go ahead and small and light this, boom, 375 right there. Yeah, we're making, you know, two bucks a piece, even cheaper if we use that 10% code that popped up, oops. My bad. The, uh, you guys saw the 10% email code that popped up right there. So it's 375 times 0.9. Right there, it takes a little off. And yeah, it's, it's an easy two bucks profit um, right here. It's a 44 can rank these move. Um, I just want to do a little bit more work and, and verify that's the right product right here. But what's cool is for those of you guys aren't familiar, you can see these are all right under 10 bucks. Um, right there, so what these sellers are doing is they're taking advantage of the small and light program, um, which used to be up to $12. They've since changed it to being just barely below $10 to enroll in small and light. So that's a pretty cool lesson you can use within Celeram um, to actually go ahead and uh, be able to go down here and then toggle on small and light within the profit calculator. Right there, so that's a nice little flip that you know wouldn't quite have made sense just looking at it right here, you had to have had the knowledge to know about small and light to go in and toggle that on within Celeron for that to go ahead and make sense um, right there. But yeah, that, that's a, you know, not a bad item whatsoever right there. And you guys can see we can crank stuff out and really be able to make a bunch of cash um, doing this stuff. And I want to keep, uh, keep finding a bunch more of it here. Okay, we can see these are all in like the 90 range right here. So we can find them like the 50 range. I'm going to have to go ahead and take a look at a couple of the different sizes right here and uh, see what we can do. Right here, damn, so this is interesting. So these have been pretty stable price. Um, I have a feeling like just kind of looking at these, these might be like outlets or, uh, or something like that. We can see, yeah, they got these priced pretty high. Alpha Balance Collegiate Navy though at 40. Um, for anyone curious, this website, uh, Alice Sporting Goods is legit. I've been using these guys uh, for a couple years. Oh, they only got one in stock though. So Alpha Balance, and let's see, so this is, uh, this is a Navy, yeah. Navy size eight right here, okay. 79, okay, so um, super profitable, or not super, but it, it hits the one to two roll pretty easily, right? 40 bucks, flipping at uh, 79. Yeah, it's not bad. $18 profit, 22% margin, 45% ROI, um, right there. That's not bad at all, right? Um, that's a, just, you know, not a bad, it's a pretty solid product. Now, important to note, we can see that these only have 14 estimated sales, but it's a 24K rank. That doesn't make sense. What we want to do is actually go ahead here and look at the Kiba chart and see that the sales rank randomly skyrocketed up twice in the past two months to a million before it was brought back down. My thought process on why that happens is Amazon just detaches this specific variation for whatever reason from the overall listing and then added it back um, right here. So that's not bad at all. Um, the problem here is that we can see Amazon's consistently, consistently been on these, so it is a little risky. Um, right here, but luckily there's only one of these, um, so I'd probably just grab a couple and test them out at FBM um, if they had a couple in stock. And it's a decent idea. You can go ahead and see. Okay, we can go like Adidas on here and just manually source this too. That's going to be a little bit harder, but if you spend enough time reverse sourcing, you're going to start to build an eye for what does well, right? And then we can go ahead and see here. Some of this stuff is pretty nicely discounted. 58 bucks right there. Um, these cleats are nice and discounted, right? We can take a look at some of this stuff and. Uh, and see if it makes sense for sure. 
right here. And I've, I've bought from these guys before too, so I know they're legit. Right here, okay, over the calf socks, let's see. $6.30 right here. Let's see, there's, there's profit everywhere, ladies and gents. Like, we just gotta make sure we're squeezing it as much possible. So these probably would have been good, small and light. Unfortunately, like I said, they're ending the up to $12 requirement. It's now only up to $10 um, right here. But at a, where'd those go? Yeah, at a $5 cost, like if we look at these, these were probably good, small and light for a while. Um, unfortunately, I know these are a little different, but you get the idea, right? This other listings too, right here. So it'd be like down here, yeah. Oh, that actually, that previously did fit small and light. Right here, let's see, it's five bucks. Toggle on small and light right there. Yeah, it's like 38% ROI now. That's tedious, only making two bucks a piece, but for some people where maybe you have prep outsourced, you have in-house employees, you're in a really good sales tax date, you know, that can definitely uh, definitely make sense. Okay, I love the look of these at 18, down from a big uh, big retail price. Um, what's cool too is that football season's coming up, right? So it makes sense that these would uh, do well. Audi's year 12, football receiver gloves, okay. Take a look at those either way though, because these all got reviews. Now they are sponsored listings. Uh, but okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, royal slash white. Okay, thirty-four. Ah, right, damn, damn. Okay, so we got yeah, eighteen bucks right here. Now we got a couple in stock each of these, but I'm sure someone was able to make some good coin when they had these in eighteen. Right there, yes, it's about uh, close, very very close. Kind of thing I would monitor, especially as football season approaches to see if this demand falls further, the 30K rank right here. I was gonna go ahead and get like, you know, a 30% ROI um, right there, but that's not good. And I definitely wanna make sure these are the right thing too, but I tell they're at least pretty close. Um, right there, extra large, 29, not quite. Extra, extra large, rare 40, boom, game time, okay. Double XL, yeah, I've only got one in stock. But either way, it's just a good example of a, of a profitable product regardless, um, right here. Let's see, yeah, 40 bucks. Right there, 18. Interesting, so Amazon is actually on these. So now what we would have to do is we can see we're profitable, however, Amazon is on it, right? So what I wanna do here is go here, data, and then go here, buy box statistics, and we can see that what's interesting is Amazon's actually getting dominated. Right here, Amazon isn't getting much of the buy box themselves. Um, this seller right here actually is getting a lot of it. I assume the reasoning on this is if we go here and go here, we can see that, yeah, Amazon's delivery dates uh, were, were previously probably pretty far out. They're now not that far out, it's July 24th, it's a few days from now. Um, here, but the seller that's in the buy box actually has a similar delivery date. So I assume they probably just recently had really, really far out delivery dates, but either way, that's a, that's a winning item, and I think there's gonna be other stuff to find just looking on that, uh, that Al's website um, right there as well. Let's see, 50 bucks for these, other colors. Definitely should've looked those up right here. Interesting, okay. How do you go 12, Hibbit, right here, 30 bucks. So let's see, so we need these pretty discounted. Let's see what the, the vibe is, just looking right here. Okay, yeah, I don't think those are gonna work. No problem, right here, Audi Zero 11. Um, ranks a little bit high on these guys. We can give it a quick Google search to see kind of what the vibe is, um, but I don't think these are gonna be good. Um, these look good though, pretty discount. You can kind of you know, see, you can kind of start sensing deals, right? The more you, the more you watch this stuff and, and get in the game and do stuff on your own. Once again, want a call to action. Um, if you want a full tutorial of Celeramp, full tutorial of Keepa, full tutorial of repricing software, um, or uh, just ungating, I'd encourage you to take a look at the links in the description. I uh, answer all comments. I love to help you guys. All I want to do is, is help you guys make more money, um, be able to find more profitable products, etc. So whatever we can do to make that possible, please, please, please let me know. Right there. We're on a roll with that uh, that Al Sport of Good stuff too. Let's see. It's just like. 85, 82 right here. We want to pay like 40 for these. Let's see if that's possible. Okay. So, interesting. Let's see. By two. Wow. So, we're getting close on these guys. Yeah. Because we can see famous footwear right here. Um, those are a little different. Um, 2.0 is 45 on there. 45, yeah, it's just about a 30% ROI right there. Um, Hover, that's that's close. That's like 
you know, a lot of people that are beginners probably should take something like that, right? Um, just because when you're new, all you want is momentum. You want to see sales coming through. So if you got to go 20% ROI on some stuff, that's fine. If you got to go 25% ROI on some stuff, that's completely fine. You just want to get the ball rolling and start to get some confidence, start having fun with it. Because that's like, if you can have fun with it and be able to see results, even when you're brand new, that's what's going to get the momentum rolling. That's going to make you pretty good at it within a couple months. Um, right there. So it's just really, really important that you guys, you know, be able to really, really take action and stuff. And even these are close, right? 48 with the code right there, like 85 bucks, right? It's like not good, but they're close, right? And we can see it. we're close to getting some margin there. It's like if you use discounted gift cards on Famous Footwear, we're really close to being good right there and uh, everything. So we're passing on that, um, but uh, no problem right there. We'll keep it rolling right here. Let's see, damn, these are 40 bucks right here, and then these are like 38, so let's see, I mean, if we can pay, you know, 15 to 20 bucks, we're gonna be in a pretty good uh, pretty good spot on those guys, right there. Let's see, okay, um, 16, EMS, cloud phone, let's see, I don't see what uh, what we need. Um, this code is incorrect, it's not 9.99 right there. Yeah, <laughs> learned that the hard way. Um, unfortunately, let's see, is there anything super, super discount? I don't think so, right here. I like the look of those black and gold ones though, for sure, we'll uh, see what the situation is like on those two. Okay, those are definitely different though, those are like, yes, <laughs> super shiny and stuff. Okay, so we're passing on those. Um, Audi Sages, damn, none of these are like kinda screaming out a super discount. If I saw any of these in like the 15 range, I'd have like a really, really uh, bullish feeling. I don't really know about those like scaly ones. So right there, no problem. All right, let's see. Fun fact, these Light Racer 3.0s were actually one of the first products I ever sold on Amazon, um, which is awesome. <laughs> it was about uh, two and a half years ago. And I think I paid like 35 bucks and they were just flying at like, uh, they were flying at like 85, I think. Back in the day when there was like no competition on stuff. Which even today, there's like, if you can take the time to get good at this, there's no competition yet. Like you can, you can really, really print cash right here. You just gotta take the time to get good at it. Right there, okay, let's see, so 40, 40 right here. So what we can do is we can hop in the variations and see um, what the, let's see, yeah, black and white right here. Ah, oh, yeah, those are different, okay. Cool, all right, so we're passing on those, let's see. What else we got? We got any, yeah, let's take a look at some Nike stuff too right here. Already found those good. Let's see, let's take a look. 136, 81 right there. Definitely, I've sold some of these too. We're gonna take a look at, uh, take a look at all this stuff. Right here. The Dry Ledge, damn, 350K rank. There's definitely a better listing for these though, let's see. Dry Ledge, oh, okay, cool. All right, yeah, here we go. So there, <laughs> there definitely are several good listings. Right here, that's the thing is if you see a listing selling well, we know people are making money on it, right? We just need to be able to find it profitably um, right there, which is gonna take time, right? It just, it's, it's gonna take time period to get good at that. And luckily, most people quit, but we don't, and that's why we get results. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks right there. And then another thing that I've like, was really, really helpful for me just early on in my journey was, you guys know who listen to like, um, our Buy Box Bandits podcast, and stuff like that. It was so helpful for me in the early days, being able to talk to Garrett, being able to talk to Danny, just having a social circle of people who were also doing this, right? It made it so much easier, um, a lot more fun, basically, and, uh, and everything. So I'd highly recommend um, getting in the community and talking to other people that are doing this, too. Um, here, okay, tops and bottoms, not familiar with the site, but I do want to do, oh, they're giving us 10%, too. Definitely make sure they take PayPal, check if they're on any cashback sites. Check their social media, trust pilot, verify that these are actual retail locations too. Um, it's very big, but at 20 bucks, size large, 39.99, right there, 20 bucks, right here, so we're damn close, right? And then we also add the 10% right there. So now we're making 40% um, right there with that 10% code. We can see super stable price action too. Super, super stable price action. I definitely want to verify that these are the right thing, which I don't think they are actually looking at the change in color. Right there, my bad, um, right there. So I think we're definitely passing on those, unfortunately. And there you go, white and black, no problem. And okay, let's see, check these out. And that's the thing is we've only looked through a fraction of like the listings that you'll look at across a year, even a couple months if you're going hard. Like there's, 
unlimited amounts of product out there that we just got to get good at finding out, you know, a certain subset of it properly right there. Like these guys, for example, it showed as zero reviews, right? But just looking at it's a black and white color, it's like we can probably do some good stuff right here, which it's looking like we definitely cannot right here too. And then also too, we got to remember we're doing this on like a, yeah, random Tuesday. Like there's not any big sales going on or that we've really looked at. Like this is all just kind of casual evergreen product right here. Let's see. Interesting. It's like the small sizes that are 28. <laughs> that's, that's weird. I, I, you'll, you'll rarely, rarely see that. Pure Motion 2.0 Adapt. So we got the black with the gold right there. Okay, that was, uh, yeah, it's not the right thing. Okay, all right, don't see those being uh, correct, unfortunately. Right here, Nike baseball pants. Damn, these are only 22 bucks. Right here, ooh, okay, well, 51, 50, that we can get down with. Um, Nike Vapor Select, okay. Yeah, and these sell too, because we can see on Keepa, price has been nice and stable too. Also, by the way, I know some of you guys, it shows three uh, charts on Keepa, what you do to, take away the middle one, which is useless. It's just hit uh, sub ranks right there. And then if you ever accidentally click away on the bottom chart, you can also go here and hit less historical data and then hit more historical data. And then it'll come back up um, on there too, which is pretty nice right there. But we can see Nike Core, we have Vapor Select 27 right here. Black, white, team blue, gray. And we can see, remember, so it doesn't say excluded, so we could use that coupon. Um, right here, gray, okay. 49, oh wow, okay, against all odds. I think these are actually gonna be good. Right here, because we can see, yeah, 28 bucks, then uh, it doesn't say excluded, so I'm gonna assume we can use this coupon for Capital One Shopping here, get another 15% off, or optimize the card value to get 20 off 120, which is a little bit further of a savings, I believe, or close. Right there, let's see, so let's see. Here at uh, 28, right, and then we take off 15. Right there, a little 50% ROI right there, buy box FBM. As an Amazon Prime seller, right, FBA, could probably move this five to 10% higher right there. Juice ROI a little bit more, absolutely love to see it. Um, and then we can back that up from the Keepa, we can see. Medium, it's good too, we're very close. What about a large? A large is definitely not good. And an extra large is pretty close, right there as well. Let's see, 23. 45, yeah, it's as close, not, you know, not quite good, but, or that, I stand corrected, good. And we can see the buy box is FBA, however, they only have one left in stock, only two other sellers right here, could probably be able to FBA, so like 48 or so. It's a big misconception that the buy box just goes to the lowest seller. Well, that's a large part of it, it's also a myriad of factors, including like your delivery dates um, on the products and, uh, and stuff like that, right here, let's see, 55, 50, 42, let's see, can we pay? 25 for these guys, and now, right, I did see ranks a little high, right, it's 136K um, right here, but I, I do think this is a good thing nonetheless. 22 right here on Belk, women's board shorts right here, 22. Damn, is this just gonna be chilling like this? 22.5, solid element swim board shoes, solid element swim board shorts, my bad. Yep, cool. Small, medium, extra large um, right here, so this is a Navy, medium, midnight navy, 22.5. Now, here we go, it's like, the demand on that's not incredible, right? But we can see, people have been making money on these for a while, considering since March, they've been, we've been above a 70% ROI right there, pretty consistently, right? So that's a winner, right there, and then we got a uh, size large as well, right there, it's 40, um, not quite good, right there, what about an extra large? 34, okay, cool, so it's just that, uh, that size medium, that's good. Um, right there, small's unfortunately out of stock. We do have a black size small, though. It's a black size small situation. 36, okay, not good um, right there either, but that, uh, that Midnight Navy medium was fantastic right there, so that's a winner, and that was hanging out, you know, just in, in people's storefronts, right, and you just, you know, able to learn and, you know, take away a good amount of stuff. Um, right there, let's see, 42 right here, 42, okay. Pay like 20 bucks for these guys, see if that's possible. Right here, drop a like if you're this far in the video too. Uh, I appreciate you watching, supporting, and I wanna make sure that uh, you know this stuff is as helpful as possible for you guys right here. Okay, Legend t-shirt. 
Okay, let's see. Um, these are only 15 bucks right here. So, 42. Ah, so they don't have a double X out, but what's the situation on these uh, other colors right here? 25, damn, okay. Extra large is uh, 15. Um, so let's see, so we definitely use the gold club right there, so we pay 13.5, free shipping. Right there, so 13.5. Right here, 13.5 um, into 31. Not amazing, um, but $5 profit, um, good demand product, super small, could fit a bunch of these in a box to FBA. Not bad at all, um, right there, so that's cool. Um, and we can see that historically we are pretty profitable, actually closer to 34 um, right there, so it's not bad at all um, on that, so that's cool. I also noticed um, this is like a different color right here, but these look really nice right here. It's just black and white, so let's. Uh, See if we can find, yeah, more kind of, like kind of newer vibe, like black and white um, right there. We want women's though right here, okay. Okay, damn, is there really not? Let's see, oh, okay. No, it's a V-neck right there, let's see. Oh, these are all out of stock too. Just for the banter, let's uh, search Jim's with Google, because I think there's an Amazon listing for these. I must have just uh, titled it wrong. Is there really not Amazon now? Okay, all right, we'll keep it, uh, Keep it rolling right here. 20, oh, it's actually 21K rank though right here. So this is, this is the V-neck, so this is different, but if we can pay like, you know, 10 bucks for these, we're gonna be in a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot, which I do not think is gonna be the case, uh, which no problem. Damn, that Puma t-shirt looks good, 12 bucks right there. Let's see. Okay, so we're paying 12 bucks, then hopefully that 13% uh, cash back is crazy too. Now we're not gonna fact that in, but that definitely is not gonna hurt um, right there. So. Uh, hopefully a 20% code does work, but either way, I think we're gonna be close on these guys. It's looking like they're in the 25 range right here. Okay, let's see, extra, extra large. Oh, it's out of stock. Um, let's see, 25 right here. So let's see, 12. So that's not quite gonna be good um, right here, 12. It's close though, right? Let's say that 20% code does work, like all the money's with the discounts. Six dollars profit, 60% ROI, also, Dimensions, it's only four ounces right here, so this would be incredibly cheap to FBM too. Um, right, so if we scroll down on the FBM calculator on seller amp, we can see make like four dollars profit right there, make like 70% ROI, it's not bad whatsoever um, on that too, and uh, everything. So yeah, I mean, assuming that 20% could work, so like it's really important to reiterate that all the money with the stuff is in the discounts, being able to get products cheaper than your competition can, um, which lets you make money that they can't basically. On, on that too. So I really, really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this. I hope this was valuable for you. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. If you want more longer videos like this, you got suggestions for other stuff on the channel too, let me know. I love you guys. Be great. Go make some money.